I've been waiting for the trillium to bloom and um, they did it this last weekend so I've been walking around looking for them and found some uh, down by the river ones that I wanted to paint and um, I did my sketching there as you've seen and um, I'm finishing up here right now. The weather's changing, changes quickly and um, I realized for myself that painting the details, I need to be very close to uh, close to uh, my painting so that um, I get the details I want. So I'll refer back and forth go back to the river probably today to look some more. I do take some photographs. Um, I try to keep memories in my mind, but um, I need to look back from time to time. Um, but I, being outside and uh, walking every day to find my subjects is a really important part of my process. So, um, what I realize while I'm painting is that it changes. My process changes as I paint. And um, I, as I work through the painting, the abstraction becomes mostly uh, what my painting is about. So I do forego the original space to some extent, although the painting is based on my recollection of being there and being there helps me define uh, my work, what I want to say in my painting, the being outside the natural world, the patterns, the shapes, the, um, the movement, the ever-changing uh, quality of what's happening, and uh, I perceive from there. Just what I'm doing now is I notice that the leaves of the trillium, uh, there was a subtle difference. There's tiny leaves around the three petals and um, differentiating those colors is uh, what I'm thinking about. The brown greens from um, the other colors, the other color of greens. So I'm working on that right now. The white uh, trillium and the tiny red and yellow lines and shapes in the colors are pretty delicate, so I'm saving that to last. Um, I sort of planned that from uh, the original painting. What made sense to me was how, how could I show the trillium in the background of the forest, the forest floor. And um, that's what I've been trying to establish in the painting and leaving the spaces for the trillium to pop, hopefully. I've been <clears throat> working for about a year on a series of paintings of flowers uh, in their natural places. And as I've been um, preparing these paintings and in my mind formulating a grid that I'm making from these individual paintings, I start to think in advance what is going to be popping up or where I'm going to see it. So I've been waiting for these lilacs and I'm uh, in a mountain in New Hampshire and this is the day that they finally started opening up. So I'm out here uh, with black flies and uh, baby bees and um, I'm just trying to concentrate. Um, what I love today is the color out here. It's fabulous. Um, the different colors of the surrounding trees are spectacular and spring has finally
come. So I like to be close to my subject. I like to really observe and see things very carefully. So this is what I'm working on. I'm working on a sketch right now. And uh, just uh, thinking about the color and uh, the color of the sky through the trees, um, the darks, the dark in the forest, it really pushes the color for, forward for me. And um, I'll just say a little bit about why I paint. Um, I paint because the natural world just brings me in and the more I observe, the more I see and the more I feel part of uh, the earth. And with that, of course, comes my concerns, my great concerns for what is going on and who controls what happens to the environment. And um, uh, all that has made me very frightened uh, of people's power and makes me uh, pretty much an, an environmental activist. Um, but when I paint, I just focus on being where I am and and uh, getting the best out of the moment. It becomes uh, sort of a trans and transcendent experience because to make the paintings work, you have to really become part of the space. Be being in the moment and uh, when possible and uh, just forging ahead. So I see this series of painting resulting in about 30 or 40, uh, 11 actually, um, what is it? 14 by 11 paintings in a large grid, which abstractly will just be mostly about color. So my process is to first find images that um, take me in and as a design. Um, my paintings more, are more about design and color and the abstract qualities of making a painting. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just sort of designing the the canvas while well, I'm actually a board and uh, when it's all set I just uh, I just begin by comparing colors and shapes and as I move on the painting itself I move to the painting itself and I move more away from what I'm observing and the painting itself takes over and tells me how to continue so uh, that's what I'm doing. I actually uh, was an art teacher, and sometimes I think, oh, I should take that off my bio. But um, what I realize in the process of painting is that teaching myself how to teach has affected how I see, and that's uh, truly a part of um, how my paintings have developed from the experience of teaching children of all ages and following that instinct. Um, I know sometimes I feel people don't respect that you've been a teacher. But um, I really think that's part of how my art has evolved. So I just wanted to say that. And, um, but I also feel not fixed to any certain uh, way of approaching each painting. The paintings that I come upon when I'm walking are what really pulls me into the space. It could be just um, 
light in the forest or uh, I'm also working on a series of uh, watercolors of the stream which eventually I think will become a, an oil painting. Um, so tell me what just happened. I was uh, painting, uh, no, doing this sketch and it was just so bitten that I spilled paint. But you can still get the idea of the sketch and I'm trying to rework it a little. Um, what do you mean you spilled paint? How did, what happened exactly? I was mixing some color and it, um, when I went to move these bugs out of my face, these flies and every other thing here, I just got a splattering of uh, paint on my drawing, but I'm just saying that to let you know why there's this splotch of blue. Um, but as you see, I like to be very close to what I'm painting and it makes it kind of awkward, but I feel like I need to be seeing not just these lilacs, but seeing through the lilacs. So um, I'm just going to try and uh, put some of this sketch back and um, I've started mixing some colors. Uh, this is my palette. Uh, I've mixed some purples and um, I'm going to start with just putting into place so I can watch my spaces. I'm going to put some of these purples in to start. And then I will move from there looking at the negative and positive spaces and the colors in the back and um, the shapes. And I'll go from there. That's good. So I don't feel I have to make just one kind of a painting. I more want to just be uh, inspired by the moments that intrigue me and I'm uh, not too worried about the whole notion that everything has to you know, be totally related for the moment, although uh, it can go in all different ways. I just want to enjoy and not feel tied to any particular medium, like I don't want to have to paint uh, the same subject matter or use the same medium constantly. I, I do go back and forth. One informs the other. So um, I'm just going to continue with this for as long as I can stand it. And um, that's it. <laughs>